Welcome to IKEA University, your official source for community knowledge. In this video, we are going to spend some time looking at nested tables, discuss why you should avoid them, and propose alternatives. Let's start with discussing what nested tables are. Essentially, any table within a table is a nested table. Here's an example of a page with nested tables as viewed on a desktop. This entire page was one huge table with multiple nested tables. While it looks great on large desktop screens, this is the same page on a mobile phone. Of course, there is less information, but the issue becomes clearer as we scroll down. When you look at this image, you can see that the table runs off to the right. The mobile device does not know what to do with the wide table and will only show part of it. Why does this happen? When the table is placed within another table, the cells of these tables try to accommodate the additional table. In essence, this forces the entire table structure to become wider than the space allows. So what could be done instead? Using a single table that contains the same information will look good on both mobile and a desktop. If there is a need for multiple tables, ensure that these tables are standalone tables rather than nested ones. This will allow the browser to fill the space with the tables. On mobile, these will display perfectly, one on top of each other. Let's look at the sample page reformatted. Here's a desktop version, clean, easy to read, and all the same information in a compact view. Overall, the general look has not changed. This reformatted page now shows as you would expect on mobile view, compact information and not scrolled off to the side of the screen, and the entire table shows up as you scroll down. Today we learned what nested tables are and why it's important to avoid them when building your Wikia. It is important that your readers get a good experience when reading your content on different devices, and these examples make for a better alternative.